If your kiln isn't getting to temperature, the most likely cause is a defective element or relay. This simple test should allow you to see which part may need replacing. We call this the paper test. The kiln we are testing here is a Studio One kiln. This kiln has four heating elements inside, therefore we need four pieces of paper one to test each of the elements. Open the lid and tuck a piece of paper onto each of the four elements in the kiln. In this kiln, as with most kilns, the heating element actually does two laps of the kiln chamber, which is why I only need to put a piece of paper into every other groove. Now we need to set the kiln off on a very simple, quick test firing. So from idle you want to press number 4 and go into ramp firing. Use of 1 is fine, so just press enter. Then we need to enter the rate of firing, that's in degrees Celsius per hour. For this we'll enter 9999 which will make the kiln fire on full power until it reaches temperature. Press enter. We now need to tell the kiln what temperature we want to go to. For this test we'll only go to 100 degrees. So enter 100 and press enter. How long do you want to hold at that temperature? We'll just set that to one minute. Press enter. And finally do we want a second segment to this firing? which we don't, so we'll just press enter again and that will take us back to idle. Press start and the kiln will begin firing. You will hear a click from the relays and the three little red dots on the display will come on showing that the kiln is now firing. Remember the kiln has paper on the heating element so don't leave the kiln, stay around and watch it fire. It shouldn't take too long. We'll speed this part up, it's not particularly interesting to watch. This part of the test though shouldn't take much more than about 20 seconds. Lifting the lid will cut the power to the elements. And now you can have a look at those pieces of paper. The top two here haven't burnt, and the bottom ones have. If we compare these side by side, you can see that the piece of paper on the right has burnt more than the piece of paper on the left. This is what we would expect. This is perfectly normal. The top and the bottom elements provide more heat than the middle elements do. What we do need to work out though is why the two top pieces of paper didn't burn. So we'll just press stop on this firing and switch off the power to the kiln. You want to find yourself one of these handy little nut driver tools, perfect for undoing the screws on the top of the control box. They're also the perfect size for undoing the screws on the heat shield inside the kiln. With those two screws removed, the box will pivot forward and you will be able to gain access to the components. These two rectangular black boxes are the relays. With a pair of pliers we want to switch over the output from one of the relays to the other relay. The wires we are interested in are the ones that are on the end of the relay closest to you. Remove one pair of wires and hold them in one hand and then switch over the other pair of wires onto the empty terminals. And finally, slide the two that are in your hand onto the other relay. So the relay that was supplying the top two elements is now supplying the bottom, and the relay that was supplying the bottom two elements is now supplying the top. This is sure to flush out whether the problem is a relay or an element. If we redo the test and still find that the problem is at the top, and the top two pieces of paper aren't burning, then the problem must be an element. If, however, we find that the two elements at the bottom aren't working and the two at the top are, 
then the problem must be a relay. Let's get the power back on. Insert four new pieces of paper and we'll enter in the same program as before. Again we'll speed this bit up. Leave the kiln on for around 20 to 30 seconds. Then open the lid and see what's happened to the paper inside. This time the bottom two haven't burnt and the top two have. So this test now proves that the relay that is now supplying the bottom two elements needs replacing.